Hi guys, this is Dr. Frajana. Hope you guys are doing well. Like always, it's such an honor to connect with you. Today, I want to talk about, strat- I'm going to share strategies on how to overcome your old self. I'm going to share strategies on how to overcome your old self. Number one, the first strategy is, ide- throughout your day, identify if you're telling more, the, more of the story of your future or the more of your, the story of your retelling the story of your past. The goal is to retell the story to tell the story of your future, not retell and replay what happened in the past, what negative situations are occurring at the moment, right? So it's just to be in that state of high level energy, right? When you're in an elevated state, in a positive state, like, hey, I I see that mountain home. I see that, uh, I see myself in that jet. I see myself, you know, making impact. So you keep telling telling yourself the story of your future, why? Because your subconscious mind believes whatever you tell it. So if you're replaying those negative events, those negative stories, your, your subconscious mind is going to replay it and is going to, this, those negative patterns are going to continue in your life, right? So it's extremely important that we pay attention to what we're replaying in our mind, right? Extremely, extremely important. Okay, uh, so the goal is to keep your energy on high elevation, right? Elevated states, right? And then without those fears and that doubt and that suspicion and oh no feeling, okay? So being really, really mindful of that. Also, when you talk about, for instance, replay, uh, telling the story of your future, you can picture yourself and say to yourself, I am, let's say you're an educator. You can say to yourself, I'm a highly effective, world-renowned educator, right? You play that story, right? You play that story. I'm a millionaire and you act like a millionaire. You feel like a millionaire. You ask yourself, what, what, does, what would a millionaire look like? What would they, what would they, how would they dress? How would they act, right? Would they be in a relaxed state? Or would they be in rushed, rushed, rushed? What, what kind of state would they be in? Right? And start feeling it and just, and be it. Be, be what you want to be. Be it right now. Right? Like pretend like this, it, it already occurred. You start really feeling it in your body and in your soul. Next strategy. Identify your negative patterns. Really sit there and list your negative patterns. The, ne- the negative emotional states you get into. When something doesn't go your way, if someone doesn't reply to an email, someone just acts when other people act in unconscious behavior, in unconscious ways, or life unfolds a certain way that really doesn't match what you were thinking or what you wanted to happen, identify what patterns you get into, emotionally and behaviorally as well. And then catch yourself feeling that way. So catch yourself if you're feeling anxiety, if you're feeling like a victim, who did me wrong? You're feeling unsure, right? So identify it and then catch it. When you, and then when you catch it, take a break. Pause before you send that text, before you respond to someone, right? Don't, the goal is not to dot your methods, but just make sure it's regulated and it's objective, not subjective. So again, identify those negative patterns, emotional and behavioral, Catch yourself feeling those feelings, whether it's anxiety, victim mode, who did me wrong, feeling unsure of your ability. And then when you do feel it, when you acknowledge it, you notice it, take a break, pause before you, before you take that action, right? Take a deep breath in, take a deep, deep breath out. It might be even noticing yourself getting that way and saying, hey, um, excuse me for this conversation, I need to take a break or I'll get back to you or taking that five minutes before you send send button, right? For you press that send button. Okay. Next, have a mantra to yourself that you say. Say to yourself, I'm not giving my power away to this circumstance. I'm not giving my power away to this work nuance, to, to living in fatigue, to living in rush mode, right? So again, have this mantra of like, oh, absolutely not. I don't want any garbage inside of me. I don't want, I don't want any fear inside of me. So I'm not giving my power away to any circumstance. I'm not giving it away, right? 
absolutely not. I don't want it inside of me. Okay? Next, remind yourself that every time you self-correct, every time you catch yourself, basically, right? You start respecting yourself you, you, more. You start loving yourself more, right? Because you feel like, whoa, I really work hard. I really do. I really show up all the time, you know? And you get, you start getting that I deserve it energy. You start feeling like I deserve that energy. I deserve it energy. Like, wait, I really work hard, man. Wow. And I really, and I work on myself and I show up and I have the discipline and I have the routine and I'm a good person and I'm kind hearted and I'm loving. Right? So when you start thinking this way, you start become you feel like you're worthy. You're worthy of all the good that's about to that's coming in your life, that all the abundance in your life. You're you feel like you're worthy of more abundance in your life. Like, of course I deserve it. Of course. Right? So the next step, the next step here is to <clears throat> write down everything you've overcome. Right? Think of everything you've, you overcame in your life, all the hardships, all the, all the greatness you've, you've uh, acquired in your life. Write it down, right? So you can say, you know, I, can, I, I overcame doubt. I overcame a rough childhood. I overcame a, a divorce, whatever it is, right, that you may have gone through, um, what you may have overcame. Remind yourself all the greatness you've ac- acquired, Right? You can say to yourself, I didn't lose myself in all the waves. I didn't lose myself in all the unfoldings of life. I still held my ground. And no one, and reminding yourself that no one can take that hard work away from you. No one can take all the effort you put into all all, all of your, throughout your life. No one can take that away. And then you really start believing in yourself. You start believing in your ability. You start believing in who you are. You start developing that integrity. Like, ah. Yes, yes, I deserve abundance. I deserve greatness in this life because I am greatness. I am abundant, right? I speak, live, and breathe abundance because of who I am and who, what, what I, how I interact in life, right? So again, going back to how do I overcome my old self? How do, how do I overcome my old self? Number one, quick, quick uh, summary. Tell the story of your future, not your past, and really reflect on how that goes throughout your day. Which one are you, which one are you replaying more? Next, identify your negative patterns, emotional and behavioral. Catch them as they happen. Pause before you, when you start noticing you're in, that, in those states, pause before you respond, pause before you text, pause before you communicate, address things, be more objective, not subjective. Next, say to yourself, I'm not giving my power away to this circumstance or work nuance. Absolutely not. I'm not living in stress mode. I'm not living in brush mode. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to cherish life. Next. Remind yourself that every time you self-correct, every time you work on yourself, you start developing more self-respect. You start falling in love with yourself, <laughs> right? You, you're in that like, hey, I deserve it energy. I deserve a good life energy. And you start treating yourself better. And then other people start treating you better because you're treating yourself better. You're taking care of yourself. You're setting boundaries by taking care of yourself, right? And next, identifying all the things you've overcame and being part of that, right? Really, really being part of that. And all the greatness you've acquired because of your self-discipline, because of your persistency, because of your kind-hearted, kind heart, because of you, you not giving up and even though you make mistakes, you get back up and you get back up and you get back up, right? Reminding yourself and reminding yourself that no one can actually take that. They can take a lot of things away from you in your life, but people can't take away your hard work. They cannot take away your effort. They cannot take away your education. Right? They cannot take away take those things away from you. They cannot take away your kindness. Right? This is this is you. This is you. 
right? So really start uh, just being just being great at peace with who you are. Being at peace with who you are. Being at peace with your abilities. And this is how you overcome your old self. Because there's no room for your old self. Right? Your old patterns anymore. Because you're constantly working on them. All right, guys. Take care of yourself. You guys are amazing. You guys rock. I hope this was helpful.